My name is Dominique Scott, and I'm interviewing for the California North State University College of Health Sciences Pre-Medicine Post-Baccalaureate Program. Um, for question number one, uh, describe one challenge that I faced in my pursuit of becoming a healthcare professional. Um, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease at the age of 14. Uh, while I was, it was not my initial instinct to accept the fact that my condition was chronic uh, and did not have a known cure. Um, in time, I was able to address this challenge by making the executive decision that I was, it I was not going to let it define who I am. Um, that it was not going to stand in the way of my professional goals and uh, my future personal aspirations and that I was going to do everything that I possibly could to become stronger in every other aspect of my life um, because of this disease. Um, having gone through numerous cycles of varying treatments for my condition, uh, many of which proving to be unsuccessful, um, one thing that I aspire to provide for my future patients as a healthcare provider is the optimism, hope, and open-mindedness that my own physicians have uh, given me over the last seven years. Uh, for question number two, how do I manage academics with other demands and pressures uh, to achieve balance? Um, while I attribute the attribute the bulk of my ability to balance uh, things such as classes, research, volunteering, to my own personal time management strategy that is ever malleable. Um, I believe that one of the most fundamental things to practice in order to achieve true balance is to uh, allocate time for myself to do things for myself. Um, I will read, play guitar, play the piano, call my family if they're available, um, pick up a real meal, one that I've been lacking uh, throughout the week, um, just so that when the time comes for me to fa come face to face with the next big wave of challenges, um, I will be physically and mentally prepared to uh, conquer them, essentially. Um, for question number three, what types of activities or volunteer work am I uh, currently involved in? Um, I'm currently volunteering for the Natividad Medical Center uh, in Salinas and the CSU Monterey Bay uh, AMSA suitcase clinic in the Salinas Chinatown. Um, for approximately three to four hours a week, I'm either walking through East Salinas on weekend mornings, um, administering a five page survey to local uh, Salinas residents for the uh, Natividad Medical Center Community Health Needs Assessment. Uh, or I'm taking patient histories uh, of the homeless residents um, of the Salinas Chinatown and reporting them to the doctor at the suitcase clinic on Tuesday evenings. Um, I've also participated in the AMSA sponsored foot washing clinic uh, for the homeless residents of the Salinas Chinatown. Um, I'm continuously learning how social class, uh, ethnicity, language, and immigration status are affecting access to healthcare in the Salinas Valley. Uh, in addition to the different barriers to health that migrant farm workers and homeless residents are currently facing. Um, so far, I've been learning different strategies for communicating with patients whose first language is not English or who may not be able to follow through with a specific medical protocol simply because they do not have a home to live in. Um, I've also been learning how to communicate with patients who may not entirely entirely be uh, comfortable with uh, or trusting of healthcare providers. Um, for the optional question, question number four, what aspects of my undergraduate education uh, and previous experiences have uh, prepared me for professional school? Um, in addition to completing the core medical school prerequisites of uh, math, general chemistry, general biology, physics, and organic chemistry, um, I've learned, uh, developed, and actually applied skills in microbiology, uh, genetics and genomics, and biotechnology. Um, this actually concludes my third year working as an undergraduate researcher for the CSU Monterey Bay Lab of Biotechnology, Evolutionary Biology, and Genetics uh, under my PI, Dr. Nathaniel K. Ju. Um, I'm currently wrapping up a project for which I develop, uh, develop my own laboratory protocol uh, that focuses on projecting the growth efficiency of various pesticide-remediating bacteria. 
and was actually fortunate enough uh, just this last Thursday to go to UC Davis uh, to present my findings at the Surface Water Pesticide Collaborative Research Annual Meeting. Um, I previously conducted research on the genetic mechanisms underlying um, hemiclonal and asexual reproduction of psyllid fish, in addition to um, genome size estimation of the chitin taxa. Um, on another note, I used to work for the CSUMB Collaborative, uh, Cooper excuse me, Cooperative Learning Center uh, as a general chemistry tutor for all of the uh, offered general chemistry lecture and laboratory sections at the university. Um, coming from such a tight-knit institution and having been able to interact with and work alongside a, a plethora of departments, uh, professors and students at CSUMB has really helped me uh, develop my interpersonal skills and has really encouraged me to step outside of my comfort zone and actively seek out the opportunities that uh, I know will help me achieve my professional goals. Um, thank you very much for providing me the opportunity to interview uh, for the California North State University Pre-Medicine Post-Baccalaureate Program.